Hey there, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor, thanks for checking me out. So, uh, you're watching another episode with this some dude wearing some sunglasses on his way to work. Why should I watch this? Uh, is this a waste of my time? So hopefully you don't feel like at the end of the video that this is at all. But this is for people that are, you know, addicted to things. So when we're addicted to things, what we're doing is we're basically saying, you know, God can't, you can't help me with this problem. I'm going to seek this other thing to find help for me and my for myself in my life, right? So there's a, uh, a ton of people addicted to heavy drugs and sometimes not so heavy drugs and things in our lives. But when we uh, focus in on it, um, in, in general, those things, like I said, are, are just basically replacing, you're, you're moving that into your life and you're moving out the, spiritual, the spirituality out of your life. You know, instead of instead of trying to get into prayer and meditation, you're basically saying, hey, let me go smoke this, let me go drink this, let me go, you know, uh, do something else. So the escapism, what are we trying to escape? Uh, there is a lot of weight that's put on everybody, a lot of weight, a lot of worries, um, that we have in our regular lives. But what did Jesus say? Jesus said, don't, you know, worry about it. Let the day, don't worry about tomorrow. Let the day take care of itself today. You have enough to worry about today. Why worry about tomorrow? So it hasn't come yet. So a lot of people, you know, turn to drinking and everything else that I understand. But you're not giving, you know, hope a chance. You're not giving, you know, God a chance to work those miracles in your life. And it's that moment of hesitation between reaching for that cigarette and saying, should I stop? You know, it's that moment. That's the part where you it can interject more mindfulness and then you can stop your addiction. Because what do we say in mindfulness? We say that it's more it's better to be more in the now moment so when you're more in the now moment when you're more in the moment of now you know when you're meditating you're trying to be aware of you know your thoughts and you're being aware of trying to get some clarity and you're moving the, those things out of the way so you could actually examine things so when you're trying to be more into the moment of now then you'll find that, you know, these addictions lose their hold of you. So when we're constantly barraged with advertisements on the television saying, you need this and you need that and you need this, you're not complete unless you need this. You know, you're not a full person unless you need that. What do the spiritual teachers say? You're perfect just the way you are, but, you know, uncover the knowledge that's inside you. You know, a lot of us say that. Uh, also, you know, in the Catholic religion, we have, you know, everybody's, you know, full of sin, but you acknowledge that and you're, you're acknowledging, listen, you're, you're acknowledging that you're a sinner, but you're trying to be a better person. That's okay too. You know, it's okay, you know, to say that you need, you need to be a better person. Um, that's, acknowledging that the mistakes you've made in the past but we learn from those mistakes so everybody is is trying to gloss over those mistakes and they're trying to say hey I can't do this I can't do that uh, I can't take it anymore let me do this drug let me drink uh, right now we have a fentanyl epidemic in the United States uh, and a lot of people are overdosing certain things they just can't get ahead of it um, and they're they're basically they're trapped in this 3d reality where they don't see an alternative and they kind of you know they're not giving up they're they're seeking a way to help themselves so all this drug is all these drugs are self-prescribed medications so everybody's trying to be you know better 
We're all trying to do the work we can and they just want to forget about themselves and, you know, find some peace of mind and find some, you know, clarity, but they can't get to it. So they're, they're turning to the drugs and alcohol concerning like mushrooms and things like that. They find, wow, it alleviates depression. Well, you're finding some clarity in it because it's actually giving you, uh, you know, a moment of clarity, but meditation does that. So you don't need um, to take those kind of drugs if you meditate. You don't need to do any drugs if you meditate, um, you know. And then a lot of people are, are hurting right now. They're hurting in the United States. They're hurting in the whole world because they're... they're not sure what they should do um you know um i think it's important to know that you could pray and meditate and those kind of things will help you uh you know to find your path and find your footing because a lot of people just automatically say oh it's friday night oh it's saturday night time to drink time to do some alcohol time to do a little bit of drugs maybe a little more drugs uh, you know, I want to be happy, you know, um, you know, you don't have to be happy all the time. You know, if there's something bothering you, it's normal to be upset, but that's how we, you know, deal with these emotions are knowing to, that they're normal, you know, and then move forward. A lot of people say, oh, I lost a loved one and I'm, I'm depressed. Well, yeah, but that's normal. Um, you know, you don't need, you don't need to take medication because of that. You know, you don't need to take drugs because someone died in your life. I'm sorry for your loss if that uh, resonates with you. But, you know, you, you, you're not supposed to take drugs. You don't, you know, it, and, you know, time does help with things. But it's just acknowledging these things in our lives and, and, you know, instead of having them bulk up all at once, you know, separate them and look at your problems individually and that'll help you out a lot. Um, well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I helped uh, one person a little bit with something I said. Um, if you'd like to comment, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for tuning in. If anything, um, you want to give something to charity I always recommend some uh, charity feeding America is good there's kids hungry in the Sudan if you'd like to give to them and uh, we really need to help out each other all right thanks a lot bye bye